Okay, so in addition to the other videos, um, let's just have a quick look at the lofted boss burst tool. So this is where we set up multiple profiles and then get the material of the model to fit um, through all of those profiles. Uh, think of it kind of like a skeleton uh, and you are creating the rib cage. All right, so we can see at the moment that it's not um, enabled as standard. Uh, part of the reason for that is you have to have more than one sketch in place before it will activate. So in the way of setting up this rib cage, um, I'm going to need a plane that already exists and I want to create multiple planes off this. Um, to do that, we can use the reference geometry tool and choose plane and straightforward. We can just set a distance here. So I'm just gonna put 100 in the box for the offset. Uh, and then we can obviously choose how many of those planes we want as well. So I'm just gonna put um, another two planes using the same offset and green tick. Okay, the original plane disappears as default, it's hidden. To bring this back into view, just right click on it in the menu on the left and click on the eye symbol. Okay, so all those planes now visible, uh, 100 mil offset between each. Uh, it's a simple case of just adding a sketch to each one of these um, to give our different profiles. So I'll just very quickly uh, do that. So straight into the sketch tab, choose the plane I want to work on, get a tool, um, create the shape. Obviously, if you're doing something more specific, you need to be careful about what you're drawing, what sizes, and where you are locating the profiles. Um, so into my next plane, uh, I'm going to choose a different shape. And I'm going to keep them centrally aligned and green tick. And then um, let's, uh, let's go back to a circle again at the bottom. Okay, so we quite clearly can see both, uh, all three of those drawings are on different planes. Um, sometimes it can get a bit confusing with the whole exit sketch um, step and you end up drawing things all on one plane. So just, just keep having a look around um, and making sure that they are separated. Another good thing to check is that there are three separate sketches in the list on the left. Okay, so now uh, if we go back into our features tab, we should be able to see that the lofted boss base tool is available, uh, which it is. So I'm just gonna click in there. And it's a simple case of just choosing the profiles one after the other. Uh, and generally, especially if you've got more shapes with corners, try and click roughly in the same place each time, and then you won't get any twists in the model. So we can see here, this quite nicely goes from circle uh, to rectangle back to circle again. If I drag the green dot on the rectangle, you should be able to see we get this twist. Now, it's not an overly complicated model, uh, quite simple geometry. I'm gonna, gonna leave it at that and green tick to accept. Okay, so we're left with a rather funky looking um, twisted object, but hopefully that shows you the basics on how to get the lofted bus base tool to work.